Hi everyone. In this video, I want to talk about a book that I used for a course uh, in college. Uh, this is a standard book on complex variables. It's a very popular book. Uh, it's used at many universities uh, in the U.S. And it's the book by Brown and Churchill. It's a really standard uh, introductory level complex variables book. So if you're wanting to learn complex variables, this is probably a really, really, really good choice. Let's take a look uh, inside this book. So this is the inside of the book, and as you can see here, there's a date, 1899. So perhaps this is when the book uh, was first written, I am not sure, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a really old book. So like the first edition might be uh, around uh, that time, 1899. I'm not, not quite positive, not quite positive. You look here, it says Churchill is late professor of mathematics at the University of Michigan, where he began teaching in 1922. So yeah, uh, the first edition of this book is probably super, super old. So even though it's a popular book that's being used today, um, it has you know a lot of history. It's, being, it's been used uh, for a very, very long time. So this is the table of contents. It starts off with complex numbers, and it starts off from the very beginning. So it's uh, written in a very introductory way. So anyone... Uh, with just some basic math knowledge, in theory, could pick this book up and start learning about complex variables. Then it goes into analytic functions. It keeps going. Then it goes on to elementary functions, so the exponential function, the logarithmic function, trig functions, hyperbolic functions. And it talks about integration and contour integrals has all of the really important theorems that you study in complex variables. Uh, Cauchy integral formula, Louisville's theorem, the maximum modulus principle, all the standard stuff uh, is in this book. Then it goes on to series. Then it talks about residues and poles, applications of residues, mapping by elementary functions, conformal mapping, applications of conformal mapping, and then some other things here. I have not looked uh, at these last three chapters. I've only read uh, the first few chapters, and I've done several problems uh, from this book. Let's take a look further inside this book. So the readability of this book is actually quite good. Uh, this book is very comparable to the Saf and Snyder book. I'd almost put them as equals. Uh, I can't think of any major differences in the way they're written. Uh, this book reads really, really well. Um, it's a really good book for self-study. It has good examples. Uh, it's a solid book if you're trying to get started with complex variables. It's also a pretty good book as a reference, too, as it does contain all of the key theorems in complex variables that are typically covered in an undergraduate course. The exercises in this book are at the right level uh, for the content that's being taught in the book. In other words, you can read the book on your own and you should be able to do most of the exercises. In some cases, you can actually do all of the exercises. The only downside uh, that I found is that there are no answers to the exercises uh, in the back of the book. So I suppose you could go online and Google and see if you can find answers. I am not aware of a solutions manual for this book. Uh, I have never looked for one. Uh, I used this book uh, for a course, and um, yeah, for some reason I never felt the need to look up the answers uh, for the exercises in this book. This is the section on uh, analytic functions, and you see here uh, we have to prove some limits. And again, everything is appropriate for the level of difficulty uh, of the textbook. So. They're beginner problems, so you'll feel good about yourself and about your mathematical ability uh, when you pick up this book, because you'll be able to do some of the problems. Also, a lot of the problems are proofs, so you don't really need solutions, because typically when you prove something, uh, you know you're doing it right. So it's not absolutely necessary to have uh, the answers. It helps, but it's not necessary. This book has really withstood uh, the test of time, right? It's a really, really old book. And it's still being used uh, today. I think that says a lot uh, to the readability of the book. I think it's a really, really good beginner book. 
And that's why people use it at schools, right? That's why people choose to use this book to teach complex variables. It covers all of the important things, and people can read this book and understand it. I think this is an excellent addition uh, to your library if you're trying to learn complex variables. If you're taking complex variables and you're using a different book, I highly recommend that you pick up this book as well, uh, as you can probably get it for only a few dollars. Again, the book is Complex Variables and Applications, and it's the Brown and Churchill book. This is probably uh, one of the most popular complex variable books uh, used today. So I would say if you're trying to learn complex variables, get this book, get the Shams Outline, and the Saf and Snyder. Those are probably the best three uh, introductory books on complex variables out there. There's others, uh, but those should serve uh, the purpose of helping you learn complex variables. That's it.